2011 and 2016, we have five Microsoft Innovative Expert Educators. Three of them participated in Microsoft Global Forums. One more thing we introduced this year is the OneNote Online Office Mate Suite. Now, what Office 365 solution gives us the opportunity to do? Communication, collaboration, sharing, and so on. We use the Outlook server, the calendar, the contact list, the Yammer. The Yammer is the corporate Facebook version. The, one, the storage, OneDrive, the sites, public sites and team sites, videos, delegate tasks, type of business, online and at schools. And also we have tools at school, the world, the world online, Excel online, OneNote online, Office Mix and Swing. All these five solutions are being used right now by educators at some SSS. For example, we've used OneNote for departmental administration. For example, for me, when I contact my staff meeting, the notes are made to need to be circulated to all staff concerned. Instead of using paper, what I do is I put it online, share it with everyone, everyone got an access to it. So we save paper. For departmental administration, for each department, this is example of the economics department, where you can see the list of educators on the left hand side and what can be done on this, the filling out the scheme of work, the record of work, the plan of work, the list of books, the departmental development plan, anything that concerns the department in the running of the school is going to be put there. We have the departmental development plan. Normally, the educators what they do is each department will have to prepare the departmental development plan. Again, Without using paper, everything is done online. I just use simple click, I get everything on my surface or on my desktop PC, which I can use for the future. Generated is the performance of it for each department, for each class, for each level. The graphical representation is there. And what happens sometimes? Graphical representation gives a better idea of reading into figures. And this has helped to devise strategies to improve the quality of education. And that is where we have been able to use that leverage. I can share a lot of documents. For example, if I'm reading a document on school management, I want to share with my colleagues. I just put it on one of my blog, share with everyone. No need to get the copy to give to educators. They can have the copy. Now, this one drive or this solution, this old solution of Office 65, is available not only to teaching staff, but the non-teaching staff as well. There is also the filling out the quality assurance inspection division documents. What was done earlier was like we had to print papers, give to each educator, then head of the department need to compile, then give it to me and I have to fill in to take a long procedure. Now what happens? Each and every educator filling from home or at either staff room or wherever they are free. Then the head of the department get access directly, then when everything is over, I set the deadline, I get my documents on time. We've only completed rather the training of all educators to use Office Mix. Because we want educators to develop their own online pedagogical content and they create their own video to be put online on the website of the school. Those videos would not be like videos of 40 minutes or one hour, like Bollywood movie or three hours, no. It's going to be like two minutes, three minutes, just the basics for each topic. And they have been also been given training to use how to use Sway. Now what is Sway? Sway is replacing the PowerPoint presentation, but online. And that means they can use that presentation anywhere they go. They can be using that Sway from other schools as well. We have also started the Hour of Code. The Hour of Code is something very, very important for students to give them an open opportunity to develop their skills in the coding system. And some SSS is the only school in Mauritius, if I'm not mistaken, under the collection of Microsoft, where students are training students at school for our code, and they will be training shortly even educators at school. Some SSS, in fact, is the only secondary school to implement this program as an extracurricular activity for its students. Our foremost objective is that by the end of this month, 200 students will have already completed a course, hence understanding what is coding. Most importantly, we stress on the fact that no classes should be neglected at the expense of a program. This is why these training sessions take place during the activity period. 
The hour of food helps us to develop not only IT skills, but also leadership skills through PM coaching. Most of us, when we think of teaching, we think of the, uh, the job that is being done in the classroom. But then very often there's so much more that we do. Everything is so easy. Everything is so user-friendly. Administrative work is, it, it becomes a pleasure because I have nothing, I have no paper, I have nothing to do. Everything is just a click away. And there's this intercommunication with the, all of us. So I would say that uh, if I get transferred, uh, if I get transferred, I think all schools will appear backwards from now on. I'm very proud to be sharing this experience. As an HOD, um, I must say that communicating with my colleagues is something very, very easy. And last year, for example, I had to take 12 days of vacation at the end of the second term. I would say the heaviest term of the year. And there's so much work that has to be completed by the end of the term. And communicating with my colleague through Yammer, through OneDrive, was, was so easy. And the, nobody had to call me. It's, it's, it's absolutely fantastic work. And when we think about Microsoft and its investment and, and, and what we've been doing over the last four decades now in terms of, um, in terms of investment in education, it's really all about what we've seen around how do we create immersive um, and more um, sort of conducive environments that, that sucks students in and really gives them a different way of exploring and different ways of, of, of learning. From what you've seen as well, it's allowing us to empower the students, empower the teachers to do, to do so much more. And I really don't want us to, any of us here, to underestimate the power and, and the importance of what we're really seeing. Technology is bridging the divide in terms of anything that's possible. It doesn't matter what school you are in the world, anywhere in the world, technology is bridging that divide. And, we're, and you guys are using the same tools that they are using. You don't need to spend thousands and thousands of dollars or pounds, whatever it might be. This is best in class for Indian Ocean Islands. This is best in class for Sub-Saharan Africa. And this is what educational transformation is really about. The other thing I would say is to the students is also from your perspective, don't underestimate what you're experiencing. There's not many schools in the world that are capable of being able to manage you to a certain extent and manage your education in, in, in this way. So it's probably only when you'll leave that you'll realize to what extent and what luck you've had when you speak to some of your colleagues and peers. My other message to students would be is don't underestimate your potential. All I can do is reinforce um, um, the, uh, the partnership that Microsoft will continue to have with you. What pleases me most is that the IP culture that I've looked at, that I've felt, gives me a lot of hope that we'll very soon manage to get more students involved in such endeavors. And in this technological era, our young people, we often call them, are digital natives. We, of another generation, we find it hard to follow, to get into, uh, to get really sort of embedded in this new technological era, but not our young people. Today, at the touch of a button, you get a massive amount of knowledge coming in front of you. Our children need to be guided, our students need to be guided to discern what is right from what is wrong. Now, the role of the teacher, Instead of, instead of being the one coming, the dispenser of knowledge, will now have to be the one of the facilitator, the one who accompanies the child, the one who helps him to figure out out of this massive amount of knowledge coming to him when he's right and he's not. Now, in the reforms, we are also talking about trying to make possible assessment, evaluation, that could be done online, facilitating uh, the way that we do it, but also increasing the use of paper, helping to improve our environmental, uh, let's say, pleasures by making less use of paper. The fact that we are dealing with educators, and educators are the drivers of change. Education, as long as they've been seen, are the most, most let's say, effective driver of change. The, one, the, the most effective tool to bring about transformation. I think the possibility, the opportunity for sharing is indeed great. Here, we are talking about sharing about the school program, the lesson plans within the department.
department, but I would like to think to the firm. We could be sharing our best practices. And if we can share good practices, we can, we must not be limited only to the damage to Why not talk about our best practices in discipline? Uh, in the in the gestion, in the management of discipline. Why not share our be best practices in this field of sports? Why should students, as you are already doing here, peer teaching, why can't you share your best practices with your friends through this digitization of the team? But I can give you my, my reassurance that the ministry will be always supported for to ensure that the pedagogical uh, techniques used, that the government use, can also be upgraded, enhanced with the use of information technology.